Hey guys, Gina back with another collections video. One of my favorite things about growing up in the 80s and 90s was when Halloween time would come, the restaurants, particularly the fast food restaurants, would start coming out with their Halloween buckets and toys. Oh, the commercials for those were so exciting to see every year and I remember them coming on and you'd have all the little nugget buddies and the boo buckets. Oh, it was just magical as a kid. And I remember waiting in the drive-thru and you'd order that Happy Meal and you never knew which one you were gonna get. So it was just the thrill, the excitement of everything. And maybe if you're a parent or someone who did grow up in that time, this will bring back some memories for you, a little nostalgia. <laughs> so let's get started and check out what we have. Here's an overview of how I have everything displayed this year. I got the shelf at a yard sale for $2. The guy said he had had it since he was a little kid, and now he was a grandpa. So this thing is probably about 50 years old at least, maybe even more. So the original buckets came out in 1986, I believe. And then every couple of years they'd reboot it and do a couple different variations of them. They'd have ghosts and pumpkin and witches. And then they'd have different like jack-o'-lantern faces. And I do have a boo bucket from when I was a kid that my mom is saying. She still has that in her collection, but I've been accumulating some new ones from yard sales, estate finds, that kind of stuff. And the first one I'll show you is this fabulous witch right here. Isn't she gorgeous? She's got a beauty mark, beautiful eyelashes. <laughs> if you spin her around, she's got a spider. And this one came out in 1991. And what's cool about this pail is on the top, if you spin open her hat top, there is a cat cookie cutter right there. And then of course, you have a treat bucket now that you can, whoa, <laughs> that you can take trick or treating. It's cool, it even locks on the side. So if you push it down, you can lock it. So now you've got your trick or treat pail. This thing is awesome. I love the color, it's super vibrant green. And now we have a funny looking jack-o'-lantern face. This guy came out in 1993, I believe. And he is missing his cookie cutter top, but he's adorable and cute and had to take him. And the same with the witch. You put your treats in there, you can lock them in. This is a newer bucket. This one was created in 2010, but it still has that classic feel. And this is a Mr. Potato Head. I believe it came with stickers that you could make the little potatoes, anything you wanted. It's got such great graphics on it. And check out the skull handle. How cool is that? And I found this somewhere. And it's a bat handle. He's just missing his bucket. So maybe someday I'll find a bucket without a handle and then we'll have a pair. You see the bat face? It changes. So there's that side. And then there's that side. Super cute. But those are my McDonald's buckets. I'll have to get that one from my mom here soon so I can add it to my collection. <laughs> This next bucket is from Blockbuster, you guys. I completely forgot that it was from Blockbuster. 1998, and it's Rugrats themed. Oh, you guys, do you miss Blockbuster? I would go every Friday night and rent movies for the whole weekend, and then just randomly watch them over and over and over again, and then return them on Sunday before school the next day. Oh gosh, those were such good memories. Let's make it a blockbuster night. So this was a pail. It probably came with a soda and some popcorn and then a movie inside. And of course you can use it as your trick or treat pail. This is a tall bucket. This one is 2004 Jack in the Box. Flaming pumpkin skull. Check out that skeleton. Looks like he's waiting for the great pumpkin to come. Mm -hmm. 
And no lid on this one either. Uh, there's no lids on any of these ones. These ones are missing, but I'm sure that would be an easy fix. I'm sure there's a lot of lids that you could put on and it would be a makeshift lid. This one's 2002 Jack in the Box. This is a tunnel of horror. We're at a carnival. Dr. Nightmare's scare cell. <laughs> the next series of buckets is from Carl's Jr. And this one is Casper. He came out in 1998. I love Casper so much. It's one of my favorite movies to watch. Also love watching the old cartoons. There's Stinky and Fatso and Stretch, right? I think those are the names. <laughs> These buckets are from 1999. Here's the Adams Family new series. I do not even remember this. Do you guys remember there being a new Adams Family? I'm going to have to check that out. There's another Adams Family bucket, and this is probably 1999 as well. For the 13 days of Halloween. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check this out because I don't even remember it. I would have been in high school at the time, so maybe that's why I don't know about it. I don't know. Check out this Carl's Jr. bucket. This is from 1992. It looks like a slime bucket. This is very cool. The inner Nickelodeon kid in me loves this bucket. <laughs> I always thought it would be so cool to get slime from a Nickelodeon show like Double Dare or any of those ones. But yeah, this has got a cool top in there that you can drop the candy in. Not a very big bucket compared to the other ones. It's a little bucket, but it's very cool. I love the lid on top, it's so awesome. Then we have a couple of buckets from 1994. These are Carl's Jr. and these are their stars, their famous stars dressed up for Halloween. Looks like they're having a Halloween party. It's got some safety stuff on there. Trick or treat with a buddy or in a group. Roach, only well-lit houses. Wear a white or bright costume. And it's got an awesome lid graphic right there. They also decorated the handle. Look how cute that is. Little pumpkin on that side. It's Happy Halloween. And their famous star. This is the other one from 1994. This looks like ghosts doing magic tricks. My favorite. Always use a flashlight. Only eat wrapped candy. Walk carefully, look both ways before crossing the street. This also has an awesome lid graphic. And the same cool handle with the pumpkin and star. Happy Halloween. Now we'll move on to 1995 Carl's Jr. I love these so much. They're so much fun. Now I didn't really go to Carl's Jr. very much as a kid. This was from a lot I picked up from a lady and she had just saved all these buckets all these years for her kids. But these are fun. I would have loved this. Here's the graphic on top. <laughs> this one has taken place at a haunted house. The handle is probably going to come off. doesn't want to stay. Okay. 
there's the haunted house on top. Oh, <laughs> there's the haunted house on top. Did you guys have any of these buckets? Do you still own some of these buckets? What is your favorite bucket? I know that the McDonald's Boo buckets are always the like ones people are like, ah, oh, those were the ones I had when I was a kid. Some of these other ones, maybe you recognize. This one is 2000, Carl's Jr. Let's see what we got going on here. Everybody's dressed up going trick-or-treating. Must be California's got flip-flops on. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't be doing that up north. Yeah, and the little kid's got shorts on. This is definitely <laughs> a warmer climate trick-or-treating area. And just a purple lid for that one. You guys aren't going to believe this, but I actually found this bucket on a curbside find because there was a bunch of stuff someone was giving away and I passed it going to a yard sale and then I was like, oh, I should probably go back and rummage through and see what's in there. And when I did, this was on top. So I was like, ah, oh, it was so meant to be. I was meant to stop and get you and keep you and save you from the trash. And last, we have some Jack in the Box pails. This one is awesome. I love anything with classic monsters on it. This looks like a whole scene taking place. We've got witches, <laughs> robots, mummies, Dr. Frankenbeans. That's awesome. This pail was made in 1998. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at those buckets from the past with me. I do have a collection of toys from the kids' meals for Halloween season, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, that'll be uploaded soon. If it's not uploaded already, you guys can go check that out, and we'll see you next time!